Jesus said in, in, the, gospel, in the Gospel of, of John, and verse 16, ver verse 5 of chapter 16, Now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? He said, I'm going away, and I've told you that I'm going away, that, but none of you seem to be interested enough about it to ask me where I'm going. And he rebuked their indifference because they didn't ask him. And I think it's well he might. Because the most serious time of a man or a woman's life is when they're completing this life and pluming their wings for an eternal flight and getting ready to exchange worlds. I had that experience not long ago. You know, sometimes we make a joke about death. And that's the mark of every little man or every little person. I used to hear young people talk about kicking off, biting the dust, going west. Don't ever make a joke of death. Your friends out of courtesy may laugh at your joke, but down in their heart they'll feel that you are a very silly person. It's a very silly person to make a joke of a serious thing as dying. I go to Akron, Ohio often, and I've been going there for 50 years. For meetings, I've been going to Akron for 50 years. I must have held in the Akron Baptist Temple 40 or 50 revivals. Preached Dr. Billington's funeral. He and I had an agreement. The one who went first would preach the other's funeral. But you know something? I had a, young, I had a man saved in my meeting. He became a mission worker. And he told me that he had the rescue mission. And he said one day a man was dying, a man was sentenced to die for murder. He killed a man in Akron, Ohio, and they tried him and sentenced him to die. Bill said, I went to see him a good many times while he was in the jail. I never could interest him. The day came when they transferred him to Columbus and placed him in the death house to wait for his execution. He said, the last day I went down to spend the last day with him. I went in, he said, but I couldn't interest him. And then he said to me, Bill, I got a story I want to tell you. He said, I'm from a very prominent family in the state of Mississippi. He said, I do not wish to bring a disgrace upon my family and upon my parents. So tonight I'm dying under an assumed name. Nobody knows my name. But I'm going to show you tonight how a man can die. Bill said they came after a while for the last meal, to order the last meal, and he ordered the last meal, and then laughingly said, make it a good one. This is the last one Bill and I will ever have together. Finally, he said they came and said, all right, it's time to go. Bill said we stepped as we walked to the door, and he stepped through the door of the execution chamber, returned and shook hands with him. He said, all right, goodbye, old pal. And he walked over and sat down in the electric chair and smiled and said, boys, looks like she's going to be a pretty shocking night, doesn't it? They said, do you have anything to say? He said, let her go. I stand pat. You say he was a brave man. I say he was a consummate fool. A man's a fool to rush upon God and eternity in such ho hapless, hopeless manner as that. I want to bring you a message tonight very briefly on the subject of eternity.